What are you going to get? You know what you're going to get yet? No. Come on, man. Well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. I got Jacoby in Houston here, and we're going to do something just a little bit different today. We're going to do a really cool video that I'm, I'm really excited about. So let me explain what we're doing. About three or four weeks ago, I had a subscriber reach out to me from the United Kingdom, from the UK. He's not what want any. That That's across the ocean in Europe. Anyways, he's not wanting his name given or anything like that. He's not, it's not a sponsored video by him. He's not doing anything for any notoriety of his own. But he hit me up and said, hey, this guy right here, Jacoby, has been a part of your videos for a long time. And I've been watching him for a long time. And I'm just really proud of Jacoby because he went from a kid that was real shy and didn't hardly say anything. But she still don't say a whole lot on camera. <laughs> I you? mean, but he talks a little bit more, but not as much still. Yeah. So anyways, he wanted to do something special for Jacoby. And he said he had reached out to like the Guggen Squad and tried to get the Guggen Squad to sponsor a giveaway for Jacoby or even to let him buy like a, a whole package deal for Jacoby. He wanted to do something special for Jacoby because he's been a part of our videos for so long. And uh, a lot of you are confused about Jacoby. They, a lot of people think that we adopted him or he lives with us. Jacoby don't live here. He's just with us about five days a week. Huh. Jacoby's uh, Houston's best friend. They've been friends since they were, you know, Babies. I don't know, six weeks, six months old, something like that. No, ever since, I, ever since he was born. That's right. And Weston and Jacoby's older brother are best friends. Tavius. And, yep, Tavius. He just, he just went to college. And Emily and his sister Ava are good friends. So our whole families have been intertwined for a long time. But anyways, this subscriber wanted to do something special for Jacoby and we couldn't get any li anything lined out with the Guggen squad and he said man I really hate to buy a bunch of stuff here and ship it all the way to the United States so I said why don't you if you really want to do something just send us uh, some money on PayPal and then we can take Jacoby you have that app? I have PayPal and we can take Jacoby on a shopping spree and he was specifically wanting to get him some fishing stuff so we're gonna go down to Academy Sports and Outdoors and let Jacoby have a $150 shopping spree and let this guy get what he wants, whether it's fishing clothes or fishing gear or hunting gear. Or whatever he wants. Whatever he wants to find at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Candy, something like that. Yep. Or some shoes. Yep, it's all on Jacoby. So today, the video today, Jacoby, yeah. is all about you, buddy. Okay. All right? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. What do you think you're gonna get? Mm. You don't know? Hey, I, I I honestly want I want a Guggen Squad box that they have. Guess I what? Want one of those. No. Guess what? what? Guess what? 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 You're not what? the one with the shopping spree. This guy is. You better figure out what you're gonna get, man. You're just gonna walk around the store and decide when we get there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank is there you. anything you want to say, Jacoby? No. Nothing. You don't say nothing. Hey, I'm never gonna take some money out of time. What you gonna get? You know what you're gonna get yet? No. Come on, man. You gonna get a $150 fishing reel? Mm. No, probably not. Where are we going, dude? Fishing stuff. Fishing stuff. All right, I can handle that. Just put everything in the cart that you want. Who cares how much it is? You fish with that kind of stuff? Hmm? You fish with Guggen baits? Yeah. Alright then. Got you a spinner bait? Yeah. Houston? Hmm. I don't see any of those Jimmy Houston Legend spinner baits. Wonder where they're at. Yeah. What'd you find? A Guggen spinner bait? Nope, that's a jig. So the only way, if you if you buy uh, some jigs like this, yeah. then you gotta have a trailer to put on there. Some kind of some kind of little trailer. Um, you can do it, but we'll have to go back over there and find you some trailers to put on it, okay? Okay. All right, Kobe, so you decided you wanted a really good reel and a good rod, huh? Yeah. So we picked out a, a Daiwa Revos LT and a nice little spinning rod to go with it and not like a cheap $19.99 combo, huh? Yeah. 
But I did notice you had one more fishing pole in your butt, in your basket. What are you gonna do with that? Fish with it. <laughs> That's a good answer. You a micro fishing challenge with us? Yeah. <laughs> fishing shirt. All right, Kobe. Yeah. You got $25 left to spend. What's it gonna be? You got a hat? Oh. What kind of hat you want? Don't know? Well, let's go find one. Put it on see if it fits you. Probably gonna fit you with the hair. Ooh, look at there. That is hot. What'd you say? I said, or Kobe, you could get a machete. <laughs> Chop down some trees and get some chiggers all over you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good possibility. How about we just throw the dog tree? Honestly, I think you should get a, like a machete. All right, Kobe, let's see the hat. Which one did you pick? This one. Put it on, boy, put it on. <laughs> Can't just hold it the whole time. Looking good. Oh, I like Performance it. Performance fishing gear. All right, so I tallied everything up. You're right at $150. So if you're happy with everything you got, you're at 150 bucks unless you want to swap something out. Okay. Are you good with it? Yeah. Do you want to swap anything Give me knuckles. Out? No. Boom. Houston wants to swap everything out. You haven't been happy with any of his decisions, hardly. You tried to pick for him. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go find them whatever mom was looking for now. Well, the chair was right there. Not those type of chairs. All right, so Jacoby's shopping spree. We tried to keep tally, keep a tally going as we went. He made it to $150 and like 19 or 20 cents or whatever it was. So Jacoby picked everything out. He did say he wanted me to help him with the rod and reel combo because he wanted a really nice fishing rod like Houston's he's got a really good one and uh, Kobe wanted something besides just a you know a little Walmart cheapie so that was what he spent most of his money on I think the rod was like $44 and the reel was about $49 so yeah I'm telling you what Jacoby yeah you about the most unenthusiastic guy I ever met that's spending <laughs> somebody else's money if it was me and I had a shopping spree at Academy, I'd be running up and down the aisles grabbing all kinds of stuff. Didn't he? Wouldn't even know what I got. I'd just be like, I want one of everything. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. So, uh, hmm. Did you get everything you wanted? Yeah. Where's that hat? Did you must put it in the bag, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what are we going to do now? I guess go home. Got, got brand new fishing okay. poles. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to Orschlands and get yeah. something for the donkey poodles. Okay. You wanna do that? Yeah. What are we getting? Well, so we are getting something for the donkey poodles. We got an idea, uh, but we're not gonna show it to you on this video. Hmm. What could it be? What do you think it is? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> well, let's go home and get those rigged up. Maybe we'll go fishing, or maybe we'll go do something. I don't know. Okay. Well, we made it back home. We got Jacoby's rod and reel all rigged up. Uh, he, he picked everything out now. We didn't pick anything out for him We just kind of helped him make a selection on the rod and the reel, but he picked out all his lures. He got a uh, A Guggen squad jig and I put a little trailer on it. So we're gonna go see we're gonna go to the pond Even though it's about 95 degrees out here We're gonna run over to the pond and see if Jacoby can catch his first bass on his brand new fishing pole You think you can yeah, I think I can get sweaty. I know that <clears throat> let's go What? Scoot over, bugger. Why? We're going to park in the shade instead of going over there in the sun and making this thing 100,000 degrees when we get back on it. I can't catch a bass on you, so and I'm just going to try some bluegill. <laughs> it would be funny if you caught a bass on that little bitty rod. Probably would have break in two seconds. All right, Kobe. Give her a fling, let's see what you got. Man, that's a nice hat you got there. You gonna let me borrow that? No. Kobe's got his first fish on. He's 
fighting pretty good. Oh, yeah. You got a nice little bass, Kobe. Get him in here, son. Don't lose him. Keep your line tight. Keep your line tight. Wear him down a little bit, all right? There he is. There he is. No. Oh. Hang on. Let me grab him. Let me grab him. Let me grab him. Oh, he come off the hook. Perfect. That works. Let's see that fish. Hold him up here, Jacoby. Turn him towards me. I can't see him. There you go. You gonna kiss it? Hey, that's a nice fish, buddy. Good job. Be like Jimmy Houston. <laughs> kiss it. What do you think, Kobe? Good. Somebody sent us some money to get, send you shopping for some fishing gear. We went and check it out. You already got your first bass, buddy. Yeah. Here, let me hold that pole for you so you can let him go. Hey, yeah. let me see that fish. Hold him up here. His tail. Look at that fish's tail. Can you tell? It's kind of almost looks like his tail's been broken at some point. That's kind of strange. You see that? Yeah. Huh. All right. Here, walk on down to where you can get to the water. We'll just let him set him in there real easy. Right there in front of Houston's a good spot. Mm -hmm. All right, just set him in the water nice and easy. We'll let him go. Awesome, man. Give me knuckles. Perfect. Hey. What? I want to see you catch a fish that size on that little bitty pole. Hey, I can't cast it out this far. Look, watch how far I can cast it out. Man. Can cast it out? Yeah, hey, that you got it at least a foot from the bank that time. You gonna get another one? Oh man, Houston says it's hotter than a chainsaw in a pawn shop out here. Uh, he doesn't have a clue what that means, but Jacoby got to catch his first bass on his brand new rod and uh, we're all sweating like crazy. It is literally about 98 degrees and we're standing out here in the sun fishing, but uh, that's just what we do, you know? It's part of being out here. <laughs> it's part of being out here. So Jacoby, yeah. buddy, since this is your video, then this one was all about you. Is there, is there anything you want to say to the fine gentleman that bought you all that stuff? Thank you. Perfect. Good job. So, Look at all that Houston, sweat on his face. Turn this way. Jacoby? Yeah? Why don't you wrap this video up for us since this was your video. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.